Welcome to you all to this always intriguing game, but it might have another element to it today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith, I'll pose that question to you. What about the snow? Yes, it's, it's coming down quite heavily at the moment. I'm not sure whether that's going to continue, but it can be a problem for the players actually to see the ball. The old orange ball might be out before long. And this match features Borussia Dortmund playing against Augsburg. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. Mats Hummels plays alongside Nevin Subotic in the heart of defence. Ilkay Gundogan plays with Nuri Shahin in the centre of the park. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. Augsburg, this is their team. With the way this manager likes to play, that four's going to sit pretty much in place. And the two in midfield as well. Yeah, that uh, defensive two won't be going too far. They won't be getting ahead of the ball many times. They'll be just trying to feed it into those front four lads. Dortmund. They'll be trying to show that they're a better side than they did in that away reverse in their last match against Werder Bremen. Yeah, plenty that was wrong in that 2-1 defeat, but uh, a few things that they would have built on as well, and uh, particularly the strikers who, who are dangerous on the day, and I think they can win it for their team today. Borussia Dortmund, any thoughts on them? Yeah, a bit disappointing. I mean, I know they are in the Champions Cup spot, but uh, this team, this squad is capable of challenging for the title and that's what they were expecting at the start Jan Moravec shot on but he's had a go well if you don't buy a ticket as they say and uh, fair play to him for having a crack no keeps falling good to add it's looking good this move here's a chance what a fine save. Shaheed. Good to act. Got his shot off now. That's a brilliant goal. Well taken. Well, Gundogan. And how on earth has he found the right hand corner from that distance? Not only that, he's done it with a side foot. Good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. It could be it. Rice. He just reached it, the goalkeeper. He can only put it behind for the corner. The header, and it's just off the mark. Well, from that distance, I thought he might have tucked it away, but, uh, well, maybe next time. Brilliant football from this team. Race to try and hit it now. Royce. He might be through. Nuri Shahid. Goal! A goal from Sahi. And he'll be pleased with that. Just knocking it off first time to the keeper's left, giving him no chance. And here is another angle on that goal. here to 2 0 This could be a chance. Two! And they managed to score here. A goal 
goal from Koo. Well, he's hit it hard and he's hit it first time, but perhaps the keeper could have got more on that. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Again, 2-1. Schmelzer. Defender blocks the cross. Jostle the opponent off his stride. This could be danger with this passing. Can he do it? Oh, it's the post. time here we still can have a decisive moment in the short time that remains a free kick in a useful position late in the game turned on to the woodwork by the goalkeeper very good stop there Astro there goes the cross and it's a heading chance now in the match and in this incident yeah not far off that would have made a difference to the outcome if it had gone in <laughs> referee has reached for his whistle and he's blown it that is the end of the game the final score 2-1 Really bad weather today, really good game. Yeah, we forgot about the weather, only 10 minutes in because it was so entertaining. Great stuff. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams. Now, this Euro League group stage is beginning to take shape. We've got match day four to come as we move into the second half of the group game. Yeah, it's a big game, this, a big night, and uh, the big players normally will step forward and show what they can do. Dortmund, very happy with their recent form. The last game they won against Augsburg. Yeah, they did play well in that 2 1 victory, and uh, I think they'll do so again. I fancy them here. at Borussia Dortmund I'm trying to pick a player who could be the main influence today maybe we'll go for this fella Alan he doesn't always catch the eye because he can help the ball on quickly but in a very intelligent way this is the home team lineup well they're going to go with 4-3-3 here with uh, plenty of width to that attacking three yeah you could almost describe it as the Dutch system down the years and the three-pronged attack it can be really potent but can be awkward as well for those wide lads. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. Lucas Piszczek starts with Eric Durm as the fullbacks. Nuri Shahin starts, looking to continue his great form in midfield. Adrian Ramas is the main striker today. Referee Fabrice Madoulet. And the referee blows this Euro League match day four group stage game is underway. Well, we have seen some marvelous action in this competition, and uh, this match might be no different. attack now very good intercepting play there to get his positional situation right and win the ball without too much effort now Gary Alonso played 
down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Keeps it going. The shot's on. It's a goal. And the way he's hit that, it's just flown into the top right hand corner. Open the scoring one nil here. Shahi shot off. A good hit at it, but I'm afraid it was off the radar. Given it and got it back again. It's a poor touch, and the possession's gone away. Ways to try and hit it now. But he's turned it on to the frame of the goal. And it's gone behind for a goal kick. That's a brilliant goal. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. foul and uh, they'll get a free kick for that and shoots got in the way of that blocked it well deflected behind a clear corner now they've got to defend this corner Adrian Ramos superb work to reach that great technique and great belief to feel that he could stop the goal. We all love looking at goals, Martin, but there's something special about a defender showing those kind of defensive instincts. Very weak challenge. Torre Virginiusen. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Ramos. a free kick and uh, they're excited by this it's a real chance to at least work the goalkeeper it's going to be a booking a yellow card for Hummels very nearly from the free kick don't think he could have hit that one much better Moritz Leitner. And he passes back to the keeper. Shahid. Svensson. Moritz Leitner. Shots on here. Well, that is going.
going to be the goalkeepers quite straightforwardly quite simply and he can pick the ball up well, the action is going to continue here we've got four minutes of added time Shaheed cleared the danger throw in now he's checked defending and they've cut the pass out there and maybe that will ease the pressure oh without question i don't know whether they'll be able to keep this up alan but they've made a, a great start and they've still got the lead well they've come out with that fierce determination that underdogs do have it's all over there is the final whistle this is why we love the game because anything is possible that's no consolation to the favorites who lost the game they were expected to win but it's just a remarkable upset it is i just wonder when the favorites came into this game believing that they were going to win and they they took it easy certainly the underdogs didn't they were full value for this win well undoubtedly he was the star man today well so often we think of his creative abilities but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team.